Lamia Esamlali is the president of the NGO Sea Shepherd France. She joins me now on the set to talk a bit more on this World Oceans Day. Lamia, thank you for coming in. Thank First you. of all, set the stage for us, if you will, for our viewers. What is Sea Shepherd exactly and what does it do? Sea Shepherd is mainly an anti-poaching organization, but we do a lot of um, overfishing and pollution, and, and we try to make people understand how connected we are to the ocean, and that if the ocean dies, we all die, basically. Mm. And what exactly, how does that play out? What kind of activities do you do? Well, we have a lot of direct action campaigns, so we are uh, on boats at sea and we intervene against illegal activities but we also try to raise awareness uh, on activities that are legal but are not sustainable or that are ethically reprehensible uh, and because our actions are very uh, powerful and and very strong um, on image um, it it put the spotlights on issues that otherwise just remain in the dark. So when you hear about Sea Shepherd actions, you, you tend to remember them. And, and I think that's our force. Can you give me an example of one of these recent actions that you feel really hit home? Well, we do a lot of actions against uh, illegal fishing in Africa, in West Africa. This is the most poached area in the world, and we have people there who actually rely on fish for survival, and fish that is being overfished and sent to EU market, for example. I mean, the EU is the zone in the world that imports most of the fish, and uh, over half of that fish comes from developed countries. So this is a campaign that's very interesting because we have a strong connection between environmental issue and social issue and political issue. We've also seen things here in France. Uh, there was a dolphin recently that was skinned that was found just a few days ago here in France. We saw an orca who got lost up yes. on the Seine about a week ago. And I know you were very disappointed that Sea Shepherd didn't get to uh, participate in trying to save that orca. Uh, tell me about that. Yeah, unfortunately, that orca entered the scene. And as soon as a cetacean comes in fresh water, this is like an alarm bell. And we haven't been called by the government to, uh, to participate, to what was going on and we thought that the situation was being taken care of which was not the case so we came at, at a late stage we offered our boats to try to drive the killer whale to to the ocean unfortunately it was too late and right now we are in in touch with the the best um orca specialists so that we can implement a protocol an emergency protocol in case this happens again whether it's an orca or a dolphin or a whale that comes in, in the river and we have to expect this kind of thing to happen again because there is more and more uh, perturbations from human activities. The offshore uh, windmills uh, constructions that are being uh, taking place, uh, the, the maritime traffic, all that noise is very, very uh, disturbing for cetaceans and they tend to lose their group and, and the, the fact that this whale entered the scene may have something to do with the offshore uh, windmill that is being built in courcelles sur mer so we need to be very, very careful with that. And, and regarding the dolphin that was found skinned on the beach two days ago, uh, unfortunately, this happens uh, still in France. Some people do eat dolphin's flesh. It's strictly forbidden, obviously, because it's a protected species. But that kind of things happen. And we, we, really, uh, we, we, we demand that we have cameras on board the fishing vessels to, to monitor in a much better way what uh, the fishing activities is doing to protected species. This is going on in, in Australia. They have a very good remote e-monitoring system mm -hmm. that allows more transparency on what's going on at sea. And, and that's what we want to have at the European level. Lamia, just to wrap up, what can our viewers who are watching today, who want to get involved, who want to help but don't know how, what can they do? Well, there are many threats on the ocean. We talk a lot about climate change. We talk about plastic. The number one threat is overfishing. It's, it's our um, ever-expanding consumption of, of fish, right? And so many people eat fish without even thinking about it. And this is what is killing the ocean more than anything else. So if you want to do your part to help the ocean, if that fish that's in your plate is not mandatory to your survival, then leave it, leave it in the ocean. That's really the best thing you can do for the ocean. And, and just feel the connection also with the ocean because we 
kind of like we tend to limit the ocean to that beach where we go, you know, spray our towel mm -hmm. in the summer. The ocean is so much more than that. This is uh, it's it's mandatory to our health and also to our mental health. We all come from the ocean, and if the ocean dies, we all die. So we need to remember this every day, not just today. Lamia, thank you so much for coming in and talking to us. Uh, Lamia Esamlami, who is the NGO of Sea Shepherd France. Thank you so much. Thank you.